a lot of people don't know about this tool, but in this video I'll talk about how you can make a Zettelkasten, an incredible way to capture an immense amount of knowledge whilst actually making it useful to your studies and career. How much can you rely on your memory? There's an old Chinese saying that goes that the faintest ink is stronger than the strongest memory. So, how are you doing? I'm stronger than you. Hello darkness, my old friend. However, we have a new problem. There's too much ink. There's too many notes that we make and then we never look at it again. I have 3,619 notes in my Evernote and I only look at that less than once a month these days. But for the last few months, I've been trying to build a solution to that. That's what I want to show you in this video. I'll be talking about how you can implement a Zettelkasten and doing that in Notion. If you want to learn step by step, you can just skip to this timestamp, but I think it's really important to talk about some of the intuition behind this and why it's so important, how you can use it properly. We are inundated by information. If you're someone that's trying to do anything meaningful or learn a lot of stuff, you have to figure out a way to both capture and use this knowledge and to use the knowledge that actually matters to your life, a way to differentiate the spam from the stuff that's actually useful. A Zettelkasten, which is German for slipbox, is a specific way of taking notes so that you can distill information because the fact is that you are capturing a lot of information but you want to just get the essence of what it means and what's important to you. So the first question that you have to ask yourself is, are you happy with your current note-taking system? Are you happy with being able to look at a gigantic note every single time you have to look up something? If so, that's fine. You probably don't need a Zettelkasten. A Zettelkasten is specifically for people that want to take this knowledge and actually distill it down to the useful parts of it, as well as be able to look it up very quickly if you need it. As a doctor, I use my Zettelkasten all the time for how to treat patients best, because I'd rather have the humility of accepting that I might have misremembered something and just check it up. Or perhaps in your case, where you just need to retrieve knowledge very quickly. The Zettelkasten is absolutely amazing. Conceptually, it's not just a passive memorization mechanic and it's kind of like a distillation of your thoughts. Let's see what a finished one looks like. This is my idea of On the left hand side where it's got the title, I've literally just got the main principle of whatever idea it is I capture. There's a three sentence summary of the idea. So for example, I found out that when it takes all on YouTube, I had this one YouTube video about part-time YouTuber Academy that did particularly well for the fact that it was one of the first videos that sort of came out about it. So I I thought that was related to a YouTube economic thing where there wasn't that much supply. Sometimes I will take like more detailed notes. In this particular thing, I took a screenshot of myself and a few others. I put it in here. Another thing I noticed was that on YouTube, people didn't really respond well to the study with me videos. I think that maybe I'll do one later when I can do like an epic one or something, but I just found that they weren't that useful. So I just chucked this idea into my ideas at Casting as well. Sometimes I'll explore different ideas and then if they have a lot of detail, then I'll I'll actually include it in the page itself. So for example, in this Skillshare interview with the founder of Skillshare, he was talking about how they started Skillshare. And as you can see, it's this great, super huge, long interview. So this is something where the Zettelkasten really shines because I didn't need to read this whole interview again. At some stage in the future, if I wanted to create something like Skillshare, I could definitely reference this whole interview. But to be honest, I only needed a few different bits. And my three sentence summary just talks about what I thought was the most important things for me to know at any given time. So I can just take that bit of information and be like, okay, this is what this thing is about. And these are the ideas that are mainly contained inside it. So this is really a distillation of my thoughts that can be easily found out. If I wanted to actually search for my stuff about Skillshare, then I could easily just type it up into the search bar as I've just done there. This is super duper useful for when you want to have this database of stuff that you can really easily look up. And I've got tags on this particular column here. So for example, to add a tag, I might, uh, just say add something about productivity or I can type a new one about digital businesses or something. It's already got business there, but so I won't do that. The tags help me organize stuff when I think that they might have a useful category and I wanna look for the whole category later. So for example, when I talk about YouTube, I've got quite a few things about YouTube here. I can just very easily type that. And if I want to filter as well by tag, I can also do that in this little function here. So for example, where tag contains, let's say YouTube as an example. You can see that it's come up there like that and just having this easily searchable database is fundamentally really good. To add stuff to this database is actually really easy. Go to this top right bit and then click new and then it just comes up with a new thing. So I might talk about the anime Doro video promotional strategy. I just wanna type like a few sentences just to memorize it. So external promotion uh, really helped. It managed to get third 
in the thumbnail searches for Anime Doro through external promotion. And I might tag that as YouTube stuff. Some of the lessons here, they're not just to do with business. For me, it's anything that I feel is relevant to my life or meaningful that I want to keep in mind and look up later. For example, in an anime that I watched, Haikyuu, uh, the main character learns that he can actually learn by watching other people instead of just trying to play volleyball or by himself and improving while playing the game. He realized that actually by observing others, he can learn immense skills from them too. I thought that was a really interesting thing and I included the anime episode and just put in a small summary about that. Now this is an idea that I can use for later, not only for having principles that I can use for life, but also if I want to talk about this in a YouTube video or something like that, it's very, very easy to reference. For creators especially, this type of thing can be really useful because you'll find that as you decide to write more about your life, you sort of have this increasing deliberateness about the way you go about things. That level of consciousness can sometimes really help and make you think more about what it is to live a meaningful life. I've also, in this particular case, put in some other stuff. So for example, I put in the source where it came from. I put in the life context that I was living at the time when I came across that principle, because that sort of helps to solidify the meaningfulness around this thing. This is my clinical Zettelkasten. I've talked about this briefly in another video, but for medical students or doctors, this is something that's really useful for you. It's the same idea. We have the subject on the left-hand side and we have a three-sentence summary in the middle. I think it's really important to realize that there's no need for perfection with this. You can see that even this particular thing, I haven't even got a proper summary yet, which means that perhaps I haven't consolidated enough. But like, if I look at it, it's something that has quite a lot of little bits of tips about rashes and children. I should create a summary one day for it, but I don't want that sense of perfectionism to stop me from capturing information that can go into here. This method is so, so useful for when you're just picking up information on the go. I think that it doesn't just apply for doctors. If you're an engineer and you come across coding problems that you never solved before, chances are you're going to come across those same problems at some point in the future. This Zettelkasten thing removes that frustration of being like, oh, damn, what was that thing that I did before to solve this problem? So let's build one from scratch. This is very straightforward. What we'll do is we'll create a new Notion page. You just name it Zettelkasten, whatever. And then I want you to create a table. With the table, you simply add a column. So the column here, you can add as a select or multi-select. And that's what I use for my tags slash author. I'm just gonna put the this as text and then leave this as three sentence summary. That's literally it. Zettelkasten is very, very simple. To add more stuff to your Zettelkasten, for example, uh, how to build a couch. <laughs> I'm just looking at the couch over the living room. So. The three sentence summary, go to Ikea and then buy couch and then tags author myself. That's really all you need to build a very rudimentary Zettelkasten. It's not technically difficult to make. It's more so the way that you use it that becomes important. It's important especially to keep this three sentence summary quite brief if you can. The moment it starts to become something that takes more than for example 10 or 20 seconds to read, then it becomes kind of useless because it's the same as having a gigantic note. When you are looking for a particular piece of information, you want to look at that specific piece and use that specific piece. That's what I'll put in the three sentence summary, but leave the elaboration to inside the page. For this how to build a couch thing, now I can actually open it as a separate page. If I wanted to, for example, include all the different steps, like, you know, drive to Ikea, buy, a couch with money and blah, 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 or even just like paste a lot of stuff in there, then that's how I would do that. Keep this section for the detailed notes. You can literally just copy and paste it. You can paste a screenshot into this page and keep the full note somewhere so you can always have that reference as well. But having this three sentence summary is the bit that makes it useful as opposed to a traditional note where you don't have that database of notes. Once you develop this principle and once you put it in a Zettelkasten, when you see these big hairy problems that come up again, you can look at it and just say, look, this is just another one of those. And I know how to deal with it and I dealt with the past and this is how I dealt with it. Building a Zettelkasten now will continue to get exponentially more valuable as you continue to live. I honestly use mine every day. I've been doing that for a few months now and I find it really made a big difference to the way I consolidate the capturing of information in my life. If you like this video, you can check out some of these other videos. And if you like this sort of stuff and you don't mind seeing me again, then you can feel free to subscribe. Okay, till next time.